Hey everyone, it's John here and in this video I'm going to show you three easy ways that you can combine multiple cells into a single cell. Let's take a look. The first method we're going to take a look at for combining multiple cells into a single cell is going to be using the array to text function. So this is going to allow us to combine a range into a single comma separated list inside of a cell. So here we've got some employee names and their job title, department and city. And for each of those employees, what we're going to do is combine those items into a single comma separated value inside of a cell. So the array to text function takes a single required argument and that's the range that you want to convert into text. And so here we're going to convert this row. And then we also have an optional argument for the format to return. And by default, this is going to return a comma separated list for us. So when we press enter, then you can see that what we get is each of the employees along with their job title, department and city, all combined into a single value inside of a single cell. The next method we're going to take a look at is using the text join function to combine multiple cells into a single cell. So the text join function is going to allow us to choose what delimiter that we want to use in order to join our multiple cells. So the text join function is going to allow us to choose the delimiter that we want to use in order to join our values. Let's take a look. So the first argument is the delimiter that we want. And in this example, we're going to join our values with a line break. And we can do that with the character function. So character 10 is going to give us a line break. And then the next argument is whether we want to include or ignore empty cells. So here we're going to ignore them. And then the last argument is the array of values that we want to join. So here we're going to select our entire row. And when we press enter, then you can see that we've got our values joined together. And it looks like they're all on a single line. But here, I'm just going to go to the Home tab and wrap the text. And now we're going to see that each value is on a separate line. The last option we're going to take a look at for combining multiple cells into a single cell is going to be with Power Query data types. So this is going to allow you to build data types similar to the currency, stock, or geography data types. And so the first step we're going to do is to pull our data into Power Query. Let's select our table and go up to the data tab and we're going to click on the from table slash range option and that's going to get our table into the Power Query editor. Now we're going to select all the columns that we want to include in our data type. So we're going to select the name column first and hold shift and select our city column to select all our columns. And now we can go up to the transform tab and we've got this option here to create a data type. Let's click on that and let's open up our advanced options. Here we're going to give our data type a name. And here we can also choose what to display in our data type. So here we've got name selected. We're going to leave that option and that way the person's name is going to be displayed inside the cell. And down here we can add various columns to our data type. So because we had selected all our columns here, they're listed in our selected columns list but we can add or remove columns into our data type in this menu here. And when we press OK, then it's going to transform those columns into a column of employee data types. And you can see if we select any one of those names that it does actually contain all of the data. So the name, job title, department, and city. And now we can go back to the Home tab and we're going to close and load this back into Excel. And so we're going to load it into a table. 
and we're going to load it right here in our current worksheet. And when we press OK, we've now got a new table full of our employee data type. And if we click on any one of these names on the icon next to it, then we're going to open up this card. And you can see that now that cell contains those four pieces of data. So we've got the name, job title, department, and city in that single cell. And if we want, we can extract any one of those pieces of data by clicking on the extraction button there, as well as we're going to find the extraction button up here. And we can extract any other piece of information from our single cell data type. So there you go, that's three ways that you can combine multiple cells into a single cell. So you can either use the array to text function, the text join function, or Power Query data types to get all of your values into a single cell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video, we'll see you in the next one.